Hello, Whipperms. Today is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Day, which I am so freaking excited about. Um, we're having like a big Harry Potter day at our apartment and getting ready for everything before we go to Barnes & Noble for a midnight release party and I'm so excited and I have a Buttermeer cake in the oven. I have some chocolate frogs that I made that are hardening in the refrigerator. Um, I'm actually in my kitchen right now and I've got some I've got all the ingredients behind me to make some butterbeer um, and our good friends Kelly and Jill are coming over and we're going to celebrate with them, probably watch some of the movies, we're all dressing themed and it's going to be a really fun day and don't mind me, I'm not wearing makeup or anything yet, I'm still just like trying to cook and get ready for the day, um, but I am wearing a Harry Potter shirt. I know, this is sideways, so I'm not supposed to film like this, but I'm wearing an Ireland Quidditch shirt and yeah, I'm just getting ready for the day, so more vlogs to come and... I'll fix my face and look better soon. I actually have here on the table some things from my bridal shower because that was Harry Potter themed. So that's like just some stuff that we can take photos with. And yeah, it's gonna be a good day. So also like I spent my morning listening to the new MuggleCast podcast and now I'm listening to the PotterCast podcast because I listen to lots of podcasts and obviously a lot of those are Harry Potter related. So yeah, that's how I'm starting my day. And once I finish that, I'm probably going to put on some Draco and the Malfoys because that's my favorite wizard rock band um, and just get more into the spirit. So yeah, I will update you guys when I have more going on here. Hey everyone, I am back with another part of my Harry Potter vlog. Um, I finally decided upon what I'm gonna wear for the midnight party, so I wanted to just show you guys because it's a fun themed outfit. So this is what I'm wearing. First I have a Harry Potter necklace that I got um, from Etsy from one of my favorite shops. shops. It's Femme de Bloom. Um, and then I am wearing a Marauders shirt. Um, this I got from Society6. Um, and then wearing a little red belt that I had in my closet. And I'm also wearing the Black Milk Marauders Map dress. So I'm all Marauders themed because I really wish that this was a Marauders book instead of the Cursed Child book. But alas, I'm happy with what we're getting. This is a butterbeer cake that I'm in the middle of making. Um, I'll leave a link down below to the recipe that I used, but I pretty much just used like a vanilla cake mix and um, then I made holes in it once it was finished baking and I put in some butterscotch syrup um, and put toffee bites and now I'm gonna put some whipped um, like vanilla icing on top of it and then more butterscotch syrup and more toffee. So that should be delicious. Okay, so I just finished setting up our little table of like dessert stuff, so I wanted to show that to you guys. Um, and now Andrew and I are just singing along to the Harry Potter musical while we wait for Kelly to get here, and then Jill will get here a little bit later. Um, and then we'll be making butterbeer and stuff, so I'll show that to you guys too, but first I have to show you what I've set up so far. I know Kelly is also making something, so we'll add that to the table once she gets here. Here is a wide shot of everything. Um, we hung up the Harry Potter banners, um, and I think they look super great. I'm really excited that we have them there. And I did a little thing before showing that I have like stuff for my bridal shower. Um, and then there is my finished butterbeer cake. There's that little Newt Scramander um, Funko Pop because I picked one up for Kelly. So I'm gonna give him to her when she gets here. And then I have a little book about um, Unfogging the Future, which is one of the divination books that um, Andrew's dad actually made for me, which is super cool. And then I've got some chocolate frogs, and I have our very own sorting hat, um, and then I have these little Reese's that look like broomsticks, some chocolate frog containers. This is hilarious. Andrew's family got us bobbleheads of ourselves, um, and we are dressed in our um, robes so i'm wearing ravenclaw robes and andrew is wearing uh gryffindor robes and i just put it out because we're all excited about harry potter tonight that's what i have set up so far and i will continue to update you guys throughout the day we have a new dessert on our table kelly made harry's birthday cake and it's so perfect and we can't wait to eat it and look she's wearing a very adorable harry potter polo shirt awesome <laughs> we took a quick Harry Potter break to come to the park and hunt for Pokemon, play some Pokemon Go, and so far there have been three Bulbasaurs that have shown up, so this is clearly a great spot. Um, so yeah, that's where we are at now. So we just finished making Butterbeer and we're going to try it, and everyone's very excited. Yay! Yay Butterbeer! The little cups that we have, and we put 
butterscotch schnapps in it, which Jill brought. So that should be delicious. <laughs> we're just spilling the beer, but also we're gonna take a sip and see if it came out good. Fun. It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good job. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. It's really sweet. Good. Okay. We just got to the parking lot of Barnes & Noble, so now we're walking toward the store and trying not to get hit by cars. Yeah. Um, Andrew's like hiding from this video. I'm too not tall. Sure why. Sorry. Um, Don't do this while walking. Why not? Because it's dangerous. But I'm showing them our walk to the store. I'm sure this is so entertaining for you. It's fascinating. It's gold. Um, but yeah, so we just got here and we're gonna go inside Barnes & Noble and wait and hopefully do like lots of fun crafts and stuff while we anticipate the Cursed Child. I cannot wait. I like, I honestly can't believe that at the end of this night I'm going to be reading Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Like, it just seems like a dream come true. Da, 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 da. I just realized that they have the um, banners up, so I had to get a closer shot. There's Hufflepuff and Gryffindor, and on that side there's Ravenclaw and Slytherin. So that's really cute. We're gonna do a Horcrux scavenger hunt. This is gonna be awesome. Uh, well written, very deep. Uh, it's, it's very, uh, yeah, uh, so it's part of the with the um, so we're in Barnes and Noble and we're, we just picked up all the activities from the different tables. Um, we're going to get ready to do those. First we're going to do the Horcrux scavenger hunt and there's a lot of other things. But, very scary, just found Voldemort lurking behind us. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> We found this. Ah, we hope it's a port key. It <laughs> is a port key. All right. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. You gotta put it back together without using your hands. <laughs> Right now we are entering our names into the Goblet of Fire so we can win these really cool prints. 
Hopefully one of us will be the victor. Okay, so we have just officially joined the line to buy the book. We're in a pretty good place, which is good, and we just went to the Starbucks and had food, and now we are like re-energized, and we only have an hour left until there's new Harry Potter in our hands, which is so exciting. Um, and in the meantime, I got a few of the little blind box things, so I'll show you the ones I got. I got Hagrid. Hermione. And a really exciting one. Fox. And he's blocked, so he feels like really soft and felty, which is adorable. So yeah, now we're gonna do more of the activities. We've been doing like word searches and crossword puzzles and anagrams and everything. The line's moving! We're not in the back of the line. We just played a lot of WhatsApp. Oh, uh, not WhatsApp. I always call it that. We just played a lot of Heads Up, which is really fun. And now the line is moving. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was in the shot. I'm ever so excited. And there's only four more minutes until midnight, and then we're gonna have a new Harry Potter book. <laughs> book <laughs> and I'm just like so happy I it's been nine years since I've been able to go to a Harry Potter release and it just like it just means so much to me to have been able to do this again with friends who also used to do the same things as me and also it was really fun to see like a whole new generation of young people that are just so excited about this fandom still it's just like it's just infectious and it's just lovely and it's so amazing just to be able to like connect with everyone um so yeah i would say that overall i would give this day a 10 out of 10 super fun um I'm very pleased with how everything went and now I have to go because I'm gonna start reading this um, pretty much I until I fall asleep. Could be <laughs> 10 minutes, could be an hour, I could finish the book, who knows, we'll see. And I will definitely update you guys with a review once I finish. 